International Rivers has created the State of the World's Rivers, a first-of-its-kind interactive online database that illustrates the role that dams have played in impoverishing the health of the world's river ecosystems. The following is a short video that explains how to use the site. To start navigating the maps, click to close this dialog. To see the dialog again, you may click the Help button at any time. You can visit International Rivers website directly simply by floating your cursor over the top left title bar. To the right of the title bar are buttons for you to donate and share. The default viewer for the da database is Google Maps Satellite View. You may switch to Map View or Terrain View if you prefer. The user interface works just like any other. To pan the screen, click and drag or use the compass. You may also zoom in by double clicking or by using the scroll bar. To return to the original scale, press the home button. The site is composed of a main map viewer and two margin panels. The first margin panel is a list of data layers that, may, that you may toggle on and off. The second margin panel contains text for the active layer. You can collapse each panel by clicking on the arrow tabs. The four gray inter introductory layers contain important information. About this site gives a generic overview of the database and lists the 50 basins that we've used. Data Sources discusses the major types of data and who created them. Major Findings presents a summary of key information. Then select among three indicator categories, river fragmentation, biodiversity, and water quality. Clicking on a category gives you a short introduction. Below it, each category contains a set of layers. You can click on each one to visualize the values for each basin. Let's click on the first layer, total number of, of existing dams. When you do, you see a map of the 50 major basins containing values specific to that layer. In the text panel to the right of the layers list, you'll see a discussion of data sources and methodology. You'll also note a legend in the lower left-hand corner. Float your cursor over any basin and you will see its value appear in the list. You may collapse the legend at any time by pressing the Minimize button. Note that the basin value still appears in the legend when minimized. Each indicator has the same functionality. Simply click on the layer you want to visualize and explore the basin values. At any time, you can also click on a basin to see how it ranks among the full list. The State of the World's Rivers also includes information about 10 river basins where dam building is especially significant. Scroll down to, see the, to study the selection of 10 basins in greater depth. Let's choose the Amazon. You'll see that Google Maps zooms to scale and the basin is highlighted in blue. Three data types automatically load, our dams database, Ramsar wetlands sites, and UNESCO World Heritage sites. We've marked with a star those dams where International Rivers has an active campaign or program. In the text panel, a description of the basin and its dams appears. Continue to scroll down to access our Global Dams database. This is a cross-section of 6,000 of the world's dams. You may toggle this list of dams on and off according to project stage. Let's choose under construction. Zoom in and click on one point of interest. Here you can visualize the location and attributes of, of dams, such as name, project stage, installed capacity, and river name, where available. Hovering the cursor over any point makes a text box appear. 
Clicking on the point will fix the box so you can explore other points simultaneously. Continue to scroll down to access a database of areas of high conservation value, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and Ramsar Wetland Sites of International Importance. Similar to the dams layer above, you may toggle these layers on and off. Zoom in and click on one point of interest. You'll see a brief description of the site and a link for more information. Finally, further resources and bibliography in the left margin panel offer a list of academic and other resources cited throughout the site. Visit here to find out more information about any of the ecological indicators. That's it for our how-to video on the state of the world's rivers. If you have any questions on how to use the site, or if you have data that you'd like us to add or change, you can contact us at info at internationalrivers.org. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the site.